Hi everyone, welcome back to Lab for Crypto. Today we will address some claims about Bitcoin that I'm sure you have heard by now. Many predict that the Bitcoin price will reach values up to $500,000 per coin by 2025 and even 1.5 million by 2030. A way to evaluate these claims is by using our total crypto market cap projection equation, the Bitcoin dominance, and the Bitcoin projected circulating supply by these years. Of course, no one knows what the future holds, but there is no harm in evaluating these projections. First, I will explain the equation behind the total crypto market cap projection that uses logarithmic regression analysis and then explain how this model is created. After we get a solid understanding of it, we will answer if actually these claims have some base or if actually there is no way that the price will reach these values. Let's dive in. On the x-axis of the graph, we have the date and on the y-axis, we have the total crypto market cap in USA in dollars. I will hide the fit lines and I will bring them back one by one and explain them. The blue line represents the daily total crypto market cap and in the description below I will have a link to a previous video I made on the exact calculation of the total crypto market cap if you are interested but in a nutshell it is equal to the price of a coin slash token multiplied by its circulating supply. By plotting this data, we can see that it seems to follow a logarithmic regression. And the equation that better describes the total crypto market cap can be found, as always, in the information section below each model. And in the graph is represented by the red line. Again, if you want to dive deeper into how regression analysis works, I will have a link to a video I made before in the description below that will immediately give you the intuition behind it and help you get a better understanding of the regression analysis. The green, orange and purple lines are the standard deviation, which in short is the uncertainty range in our prediction. By observing this data, we can make some educated guesses about the future valuation of the crypto total market cap. In the platform, you can choose the window that you want to observe, but I will be using the one that is in front of us. One observation is that the total crypto market cap finds very strong support on the minus one standard deviation, which is the orange line. And after each cycle, it seems that the total crypto market cap bounces on the orange line. The next observation is that in bull runs, the total crypto market cap pierces through the plus one standard deviation, which is the green line. Especially, what we can see is that in early cycles, it even managed to pierce through the plus two standard deviation. And the third observation that we can make is that in the latest cycle, the total crypto market cap failed to reach the plus two standard deviation. And let me reset the plot and see what we can get from this graph. Using the mouse, we can mouse over the plot. And if, for example, we expect that the next crypto bull run will be in May 2025, we can see the calculated values. For example, in May 2025, the expected crypto market cap is between 10 trillion to 23.7, which is the super optimistic scenario. Using this model, we can do some simple math and evaluate if the claims we see online have any merit. I have prepared some slides with the calculations and together we will find out. Note that what you will see is not a financial advice, but based on this model, we will make some calculations together. Before I jump into the slides, I want to show you something quick. In the platform, you will be able to check daily 
if the total crypto market cap is undervalued or overvalued. We calculate this value by subtracting the red line from the blue line, as we saw on the graph before. When these two values are equal, that means we are exactly at the fair value, which in this plot is represented by the orange color. Furthermore, when the total crypto market cap is above the red line means that we are overvalued and when it's below we are undervalued. Now after we explain the valuation model we can go to the slides. Can Bitcoin reach $500,000 per coin in 2025? There are many ways to estimate if this claim is valid but today we will use the method that I'm going to describe below. We will need first the total crypto market cap projection value, second, the Bitcoin expected dominance at the period we are testing, and lastly, the expected circulating supply of Bitcoin at 2025. As no one knows the exact date of the crypto cycle top, we will choose 1st of May 2025 to make the calculations, but of course, using the data from the platform, you can pick the date that you feel that is more suitable for a crypto cycle top. From the platform, if we mouse over that date, we get the following values. The TMC fair value is approximately 4.1 trillion. The plus one standard deviation is at 9.9 .9 trillion. And lastly, the plus two standard deviation is at 23.7 trillion. The minus one standard deviation is something that we are not going to need for our calculations because as we saw before, it's a really good indicator for the bottom of the total crypto market cap and not the top. Historically, for a sustained bull run, usually Bitcoin runs first to its all time high reaching values of more than 60% dominance. And I'm going to show you these values using the arrows. And then capital is rotating from Bitcoin to altcoins alongside inflows from of new capital that prefers altcoins instead of Bitcoin. And you will see that the Bitcoin dominance drops. The Bitcoin domin dominance is the red line and the Bitcoin price is the blue line. For our calculation, we will be more conservative and use 50% dominance as the target during the Bitcoin's next cycle top. Now we go to the expected circulating supply of Bitcoin. Using the regression analysis that we saw how we can do it before, using the Bitcoin remaining data, we can find the equation that describes the Bitcoin remaining supply, and we can see that it decreases exponentially. We do not need to know about the halvings as the information uh, are already embedded in the data. Subtracting the Bitcoin's remaining supply from the 21 million, that is the number of the Bitcoin that we expect to mine, which that day is 2140, we can get the Bitcoin circulating supply at the period we are interested in. And of course, for us, it's the 1st of May, 2025. We have arrived at the interesting part. Can Bitcoin reach $500,000 per coin in 2025? And the way to answer that is using this equation. We're going to need the market cap of Bitcoin at the date of our interest and of course the circulating supply of Bitcoin at 1st of May 2025, which is the date that we picked. The dominance is something that we need to get this market cap of Bitcoin as from the model of the total crypto market cap we get, as the name indicates, the total crypto market. So if we divide by two, which is the 50% dominance that we expect, expect for Bitcoin, we can start getting some answers. So the plus one standard deviation of TMC is at 9.9 .9 trillion. If we divide by two, we get a value of 4.95 trillion. And we're dividing that by the 19.98 million, 
which is the number of our expected Bitcoin circulating supply. And the value that we get is the $247.7 thousand dollars for the price of Bitcoin. Using the same methodology, we're going to use now the two standard deviations, which basically is our super optimistic scenario. We are again dividing the 23.7 trillion by two, and again by the dividing by the circulating supply of Bitcoin, and the value that we get is 5,093.1k. So the um, expected value and the let's say the estimated value of Plan B, for example, is not completely out of bounds, but of course no one knows. Now let's go to the 2030 projection, price projection of Cathy Wood for Bitcoin. Using the exact same methodology as before for our calculation, we're going to see if the optimistic scenario of Cathy Wood that Bitcoin can reach values of 1.5 million is even possible. Again, we're going to need the market cap of Bitcoin and the circulating supply of Bitcoin at the date that we chose. And for that calculations, I chose the 1st of January 2030. So the plus one standard deviation is at 48.6 trillion. We divide by two. And then again, we divide by 20.58 million which is the expected circulating supply at that date. And the value we get is 1.18 million per Bitcoin. Again, seems that Cathy Wood scenario is not out of bounds, but of course, as I said before, no one knows. And as the data come in, we will can refit our model, get new equations and see if anything has changed. Do not forget to like the video if you found it helpful and leave us a comment with your thoughts. Until next time, bye bye.